Hey guys, it's Leon Epp. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am doing a trash to treasure for Christmas decorations. Christmas is my favorite time of the year and I am so excited to get uh, started on preparing for Christmas and the decorations. I am going to be doing three projects and two of them are wreaths and this is uh, the first one I am working on. This uh, wreath I got at the thrift store and although I like the natural look to it, I am going to be painting it with chalk paint. I want it to have a more wintry look uh, and a lighter look so I am um, going to use some chalk paint. I'm going to give everything a good coat and uh, let it fully dry. While the first wreath dries, I am now working on the second wreath. And this one I also got at the thrift store. And I didn't mention earlier that the first wreath was only $2 and this one was about $2.50. So for this one, I am removing all the decorations that it already had on it. I will be using some of the decorations um, that was already on it here in a little bit. But um, I am going to be painting this one as well. The theme that I'm kind of going for for this Christmas is a kind of like a wintry, frosted Christmas. And so that's why I'm painting everything. And... Um, as with the first one, um, although I am painting white, you still see a lot of the brown kind of um, within the branches, so I kind of like it. Uh, this wreath is a little different. It has that fanned out kind of style, and I really like it. These three pine cones were um, on the second wreath that I just worked on. And I'm going to reuse them. So I am going to, again, paint with some chalk paint, give it a wintry, frosted look to all three of them. I am going to do the same thing with these little berries that were on the wreath. Um, I'm going to reuse them so that um, and uh, give them that same frosted look. These little branches uh, or Christmas picks, I'm not sure what they're called, but I have had for many years. I've used them uh, periodically here and there, um, but uh, this year I am going to reuse them and I'm dry brushing them. Now I'm not painting them like I painted everything else. This one I am using a dry brush technique that's using very, very little paint on the brush and just kind of toning down the bright glittery red but I still want them to look red, if that makes sense. These bulbs here, I am just going to dry brush uh, a few of them. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use them all three, but I do wanna have a little bit of more red in some of the decorations. So I'm just dry brushing, again, a little bit of paint on the brush and getting them to look a little bit of uh, maybe distressed kind of uh, frosted look on it. All right, so the first wreath is fully dry and now I'm using hot glue and I'm just kind of placing things in place. Now for this wreath, I am just going to place some of the decorations to one of the sides. And I'm starting with the red picks. I am going to be placing four of them and um, uh, again, just using some hot glue. As 
after I uh, placed the picks, I added the pine cone. Now these are a little larger pine cones, so I'm trying to like a common, uh, kind of squeeze it in there and make sure that it doesn't um, come off. And then I decided to add uh, one of the berry branches. I'm also adding some lamb's ear. Now I've used lamb, lamb's ear with my fall decorations and I love that it already has that almost like that natural frosted look. It has a very toned down green and I just like that it adds that greenery to it. So I'm adding a couple of the leaves to the top of this wreath. For the second wreath, I am going to use, again, the decorations that I painted earlier. Now I am going to place the decorations on this one all around the wreath. I am going to place them um, kind of in a pattern between the berries and the picks and also the lamb's ear as well. And I am going to hot glue them and I am going to keep the same shape as the wreath. So I am going to keep the fanned out um, style that the wreath has on it. And here I just wanted to show you what those lamb's ear looks like. They're little bundles that I got at Walmart. And as I mentioned earlier, I've used them throughout my whole house with my fall decorations. And I wanted to carry it through to my Christmas decor. And I just think it just adds such a cute detail in a greenery color to the decor. All right, so now on to my third and final project. This decorative uh, fence I got at the thrift store as well, and it was about three fifty, I believe. And um, I just thought, I mean, it's kind of like solid wood, and I just love the tone and the rustic feel to it. But it was obviously some sort of like garden decoration, so I am removing these little pieces from the middle of it. And I th at first I thought I'd remove the whole top part, but then I changed my mind and I just added the little part that says garden gear. Although I like the look of it, I did decide to add dry brushed Paint. This is the chalk paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum chalk paint and um, some of the planks on the fence I'm adding a little bit more paint than others, but I just want it to look random kind of like just frosted and um, let it dry. Once the paint was fully dry, I am hot gluing decorations and I am sticking with the same style, same decorations that I have on the wreaths. I want everything to have the same kind of style. So I am using two of the red picks and I'm just kind of bending them a little bit so they kind of, um, I guess, I don't know, like hang down a bit and um, fill in some of the uh, fence uh, on the bottom of it. And I'm also going to be adding a little bundle of the lamb's ear to it and some other decorations um, that you saw earlier, a bulb and a uh, pine cone. The pine cone and the bulb, I'm having a little hard time getting it to stick, but eventually I got it to stick.
And here's the first wreath, guys. Isn't it beautiful? It is exactly in my mind what I want my Christmas decorations to look like this year. It just proves that a can of paint can go so far when you're decorating on a budget and it just gave it a beautiful look. And here's the second wreath. Again, just beautiful. I love it. It has the same colors and tones as the first one, but totally different style. They both have that rustic Christmas charm to it. I want to take the time now real quick to ask that if you have not subscribed to my channel to consider doing so right underneath this video. My final project is this decorative fence. Guys, isn't it beautiful? So inexpensive, a little bit of paint, and I love it. I have three new decorations for my Christmas decor this year, and I only spend less than $10. This is it for today. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope you have a blessed, blessed day.